What's up party people, in this video I want to go over the 6 elements why pain is actually necessary to achieve all your goals and have a happy life. Because I'm now saying that especially in this day and age a lot of people want to have a carefree life without any kind of pain involved but then on the other hand they want to achieve all their goals which are way too high for the action they are taking and way too high for the mindset they are having that there shouldn't be any kind of pain involved in their life which in my opinion is total BS and in this video I want to split it up into six elements to give you a more accurate picture of my opinion and why I'm thinking that pain is a necessary component and it's not even that bad to have pain in your life. Pain helps you to be more present, especially in this day and age when you get over flattered by messages, although this video doesn't count. This is education. It really helps you to connect with yourself. Because when you are, for example, are at the gym and you want to get the last weapon, or if you're running and you want to get the last mile in, it is actually necessary for you to be totally present in that situation. Because if you're not present, you're not able to get the last weapon or you're not able to run this last mile. And in my opinion, it is very, important to be present um, in situations and to be really more connected to yourself and for me pain helps me in that way you could even go that far to say that pain doesn't helps you to be more present but it actually forces you to be more present and totally for good to close my buttons Whew. feels way better Pain pushes you to step out of your comfort zone. We as humans are driven by the good and bad energy inside of us. And trust me, it's not going to be some bully stuff, it's actually going to be pretty hands on human nature. So the good energy actually pulls us into it. It's something we are interested in, something we have a natural inclination in, and something we are fascinated by. That could be the person we want to be the bad energy actually pushes us away from it. It's something we are scared about. That could be the fear of becoming the person we don't want to become, the fear of not achieving all of our goals or some important goals um, we have set for us. And in this example of um, pain pushing us away from our comfort zone, um, we are actually taking advantage of the bad energy. And the bad energy is also somewhat associated with pain because it's not comfortable to talk to yourself in a disrespectful way. And it's also not comfortable to not achieve a goal which is very important for you. Pain in this example is an initiator and a motivator. Pain leads to action, which then leads to stepping out of our comfort zone, which then leads to a lot of happiness and progress in the end because we did a certain thing. So we are moving from a um, very stagnated place where we are not really in motion to a very active place where we are in motion and getting things done. Early in the process, at least for myself, I was very driven by the bad energy, the fear of not achieving my goals, the fear of becoming the person I don't want to become. And I'm still driven by it, but these days I'm more so driven by the good energy because um, I achieved some of my goals which I wanted to achieve. I improved a lot over time. I'm now moving from the bad energy more towards the good energy. But I had to tap into the bad energy first to actually now be at a place where I can also connect to the good energy quite well. Pain also creates the contrast which makes it even possible to be happy. There's this Shidi saying, uh, without darkness there's no light. And it's very much true, well, there's no such thing as only being happy. You probably experienced it while buying a new car or a new phone at first it felt so responsive um, in the example of a phone and everything worked so well but after a while it just became normal it's, it's nothing new for you it's it's supposed to work like that another example for that could be achieving your goals um, for example in sports if you are getting into running and you won your first 5k or 10k at first it felt very freaking awesome you trained quite a lot for that and Finally being able to do that stuff um, is a very, very positive, very exciting feeling. 
but a couple months down the line you may even feel disappointed of yourself to only run five kilometers to or only run 10 kilometers um, because you are on to running a marathon or something like that so running 5 or 10k became your new normal so this saying uh, without darkness there is no light is also very much true so you could also change up that quote without darkness there is no light into without pain there is no happiness pain makes the reward even sweeter or it may actually encourage you to enjoy the reward because I'm having a pretty hard time doing something which isn't that productive or which isn't productive just having a lazy Friday afternoon something like that watching a movie there's the voice inside of my head being like Max you should really get to work why are you that unproductive uh, when in reality it can actually add some value to have um, a little bit of downtime and for you that could be instead of watching a movie having a little chocolate bar or something like that and being productive and connecting with the pain before that activity makes it way more easy to enjoy an activity which doesn't add any kind of productive value in my life because it's not uh, activity anymore which just doesn't add any value to my life it's in a reward right now it's not a lazy afternoon it's not a little chocolate bar or something like that it's a reward for the action you did prior to that pain makes you stronger let's face it there are some things in life which you can't avoid and which are fucking painful the death of a relative or of a pet a car crash and you having to be in a hospital something like that that are freaking painful experiences or some of the smaller things like getting a bad grade at school or university having to wake up fucking early that could also be fucking painful and these are things which really can't be avoided that much and having painful situations before that makes you able to sustain painful situations with more ease in the future. For myself, I used to wake up freaking early when I was studying at a university and immediately go to the gym. So I was waking up at around 4.30 to 5 o'clock most of the time and then immediately go to the gym and start with the rowing machine. And you can't tell me that this isn't painful at like 5 o'clock in the fucking morning. This this is pain like i can tell you that people and right now when i have to wake up early it's not that big of a deal for me anymore or when i'm sleepy something like that i used to wake up earlier than that and i used to do way more shit in the morning so when i now have to wake up at i don't know let's let's say six o'clock from time to time it's not that big of a deal or when i want to um, take a couple of pics and i have to wake up at five o'clock or something like that yeah it's still kind of painful but it's not that big of a deal i used to do that in the past doing that right now it's it's not that big of a deal the last point is that you can learn from your pain we talked about situations where there is a reward at the end of the pain for example if you train um, you can reward yourself with a little chocolate bar like we talked about or you can look at yourself and be pretty proud of the progress you've made physically but there are also certain situations where there is no reward at the end of the pain like when you've done a mistake like you had to learn from an exam for example you didn't and you wrote a really bad exam or you had to train for an important match for soccer or something like that you didn't and you failed the only reward you get out of these things is learning from them and not doing the same mistake next time we arrived at the end right now. If you like to then definitely give the video a like and what you can also do is subscribe to my channel, ring that little bell down there and share your opinion on this whole topic, needing pain in order to progress in life and in order to have happiness down in the comments. I see you on the next one, out.